Hi guys, my Finn, my beautiful Atticus found a new mommy and I will be shipping him out tomorrow. Um, this person has a very special story. Um, I'm not going to tell the story because maybe she will want to tell it because um, I think she's going to be doing a box opening, which I would love. Um, so <clears throat> this one was a tough one for me. <sighs> yeah, he's probably the finest reborn I've ever seen <laughs> and I've ever experienced. So I am happy to pass him on to someone else who will experience the same joy that I did while I had him. So, um, yeah. All right. So I wanted to kind of share something else with you guys. This is my Danny by Janie D. Lang kit. And I just assembled him onto a body body recommended for him. He's three quarter limb. And I had him in my collection once before and sold him and I missed him. So I purchased him again at the, uh, because, uh, Stephanie Ortiz kind of told everyone on a video that he was for sale. Um, and he was on sale. So I couldn't resist. I had to purchase him again. So here is my, uh, my thought about this baby. <clears throat> um, since I really enjoyed my Atticus so much, I'm thinking of sending this kit to Russia to have, uh, Julia Homa paint him and root him for me. She, um, she agreed to that. She agreed to me just sending her the vinyl parts to have her paint and root. But, um, it's gonna, I guess, take her a while to determine the price because she probably is not used to doing that. But I figure since I'm going to be spending the extra money sending her the kit, um, that, uh, maybe I'm gonna be saving money by just having her paint and root instead of wait and fill and, you know, the whole bit. So I'm kind of waiting to hear back from her and see how much it's going to be. She's a wonderful, wonderful artist, as you guys saw by what she did to uh, Finn. So I told her that I wanted a, a, a painting job just like um, Atticus was, but she, of course, said, you know, you can't duplicate the exact same work. And I was okay with that. And I said, you know, I'm just giving you an idea as to what I like. I like the real newborn uh, painting that you did. I like the beautiful mono rooting that you did. So I am waiting to hear back from her. And uh, I probably should ask her if she can get the kit and how much it would be for her to get the kit. Maybe it would be more cost effective that way. That's probably a good idea. I'm thinking out loud here um, because it's probably going to cost me a pretty penny to ship him to uh, Russia. I've never shipped anything to Russia before. So if you guys have ever done that, uh, I'm going to sit down here on my futon, which I took the cover off and I took the memory foam off because it looked horrible, guys. <laughs> and um, I wasn't really actually taking naps on this couch. I'm going to move him so you can kind of see him a little better. He's not really weighted and stuffed, so he's going to look a little funny. <laughs> But let me try to position him. And he still has his cable ties uncut. This baby right here has the biggest feet that I have seen. He wears socks that are 6 to 12 months. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. 
and he's he's got um I I did a video on him before he's got dimples in both hands and so many wrinkles. So I would like her to just paint the feet and the hands that reddish, that beautiful reddish color that uh, my fin had and not worry so much about like uh, doing all the creases because there's so many on this baby. But um, I just love his face. And um, this kit, in my opinion, is a little, little bit, um, might be a little bit disproportionate. He's got a really wide body and he's got very chunky legs. And like I said, big feet, but his arms uh, are kind of normal. They're not really big and his hands aren't really big, but his head is a little bit small compared to the size of the body and the limbs. So um, I think when he's rooted and he's got some hair, it'll help a little bit. It'll help to balance him out a little bit. But I find that the newer kits are more evenly proportioned. I don't know if you guys notice that, but let me know. Um, yeah, the new kits, they're getting better all the time. I think the artists, the sculptors of the kits are getting better as time goes on and they're, they're just making them more proportionate, uh, which is important. You know, I think it is. I mean, you can always camouflage things by, um, putting a hat on the baby, um, putting pants on the baby, uh, putting socks and shoes on the baby. This baby will be easy to find shoes for because look at the size of that foot. I mean, um, you can see by the, size of my hand it's it's decent <laughs> yeah so let me see does he have separated toes he has a separation there and there and there and there and there his fingers are all separate and this was my guitar playing baby <laughs> because he was um in my collection as the son of George Harrison. And because his name was, his son's name was Danny. So this kit name being Danny had to be George Harrison's son. So let me, let me know what you guys think. Um, this kit would be perfect for an ethnic baby, but I noticed my color is fading kind of on this camera. The color is getting like darker and lighter. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, this kit would make a very good ethnic baby because of the, just the way his face is constructed. I think I even see a dimple in his chin, a very faint one. But he has decent lips and he has just kind of the kind of eyes that speak uh, biracial to me, but... I am just going to have him done as a Caucasian baby with uh, baby brown hair. So, yeah, Finn has a new mommy. I'm always nervous uh, sending a box. Um, he's going to Utah. <laughs> and uh, always a little nervous that the post office is going to be rough, but I, I really packed him well. Um, so hoping for the best. So um, look forward to a box opening. I will, when I hear that she received him, I will let you guys know what her channel name is and let you know when she's got the box opening so that you guys can go watch it. So I'm excited. I'm always very excited to watch a box opening of a baby that I have had in my collection or I've made myself. We, we just had a box opening for, uh, Bert, my Bert. And, uh, his mommy is very happy with him. And you have probably seen his box opening. Um, her name escapes me at the moment, but I told you guys, um, all about her before. 
So we're going to have a box opening, I hope. So um, the purchaser of my Atticus, if you're watching this video, please email me and uh, assure me that you'll be doing a box opening. <laughs> All right. I tried to make it a very special box opening for you. And um, I'm excited for you. Okay, I'm going to go, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will keep you updated on what's going to happen with Danny by Janie DeLang. Bye.